Welcome to the beginning of my mono journey. The idea of this video was to assemble the whole telescope and eventually get to the point where I showed you a brilliant picture. Now, I did take a good image and I was really pleased with it. It was Andromeda M31 and it all worked. It was quite a journey to get there, however, because the filter wheel stopped working. More on that to come later on. This video is in three parts because I didn't want you all to wither away in front of YouTube. So uh, yes, three parts. First of all, we fit the filter wheel. Then we fit a focuser. And then the whole thing doesn't work. But I managed to get some data which is usable. Hooray! And I got an image of M31. I am going to take this apart and have a look at how we connect this all together. I want my filters to be as close as possible to the camera sensor. Okay, so I need to screw this plate because this is the telescope side. This needs to be screwed in here. So I need to get some screws and screw that in there. And then with this, what I think is required is I need to unscrew that in order to remove this filter wheel assembly here. And then I'll be able to screw the T2 one, which is this one here, I believe, on the inside. And then hopefully I'll be ready to mount my filters. that's now screwed in you can see the four screws there there isn't an awful lot of thread there so you have to be quite gentle with it I don't want to damage the threads at all so my next job I think is to remove this filter wheel here brilliant okay wow that's nice to see it's got a very nice bearing Excellent, so that's my T2 one. So I'm now going to reassemble this. Okay, there we go. So I've got the camera side, so it says camera side, and then that will be the scope side, which will be on there. I'm just going to blow any dust out of here then we can assemble the whole imaging chain. In theory, this camera should have a 17.5 millimeter back focal distance. So a tech cooled Altair camera has a 17.5 millimeter back focal distance. I need 55 millimeters. So I'm just going to double check my maths to make sure we've got everything right. So the camera is 17.5. I'm then going to put in a 0.49 it said, but I'll put 0.49 in there. Then the filter wheel is 19.6 millimeters when you've got the adapters. And then I'm putting in a 10 millimeter shim and a 7.5 millimeter shim. So this should be slightly over my 55 millimeter spacing. 55.1. I went for seven nanometer filters, UV, IR, RGB, hydrogen, oxygen, and sulfur as well.
that was the end of part one. Really exciting, wasn't it? Fitting a filter wheel. Hope you enjoyed that. Tune in for part two. <laughs>